In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create and run scripts in AutoCAD. A script is similar to a macro in the fact that it is going to be several steps saved of a process that can be run again in AutoCAD. When creating a macro, we have to use specific symbols such as semicolons and backslashes and so on. But when creating a script, we can simply create it in a text document. So let's start with a simple one. First of all, if I want to put any comments in here, I can do this starting with a semicolon. So this is just notepad. I'm just going to start with a little semicolon and I'll just say what this is going to be. It's going to be very simple. I'm going to create a rectangle and a circle. So I'll just put in a note that it creates a rectangle and a circle. And then I'll go ahead and start my command here. So if I was going to create a rectangle, I would start with the rectangle command. So I could put in REC and then enter. So notice that you just literally put in enter. It's going to ask me for my first point. So I'll just put in zero comma zero and enter. And then it'll ask me for my second point. Uh, let's say I'm going to go 10 comma 10 and then enter. And that would finish the rectangle command. Then I'm going to start a circle. So I'll put in circle and enter, and then I'll put in the center point of five comma five and enter. Then it's going to ask me for a radius. I'll put in two and enter. Once again, the idea here is something that I do often. I want to create a script of, obviously if this is a one-time thing, it's not really worth doing it. But anytime you find yourself doing things more than once, you can start looking at ways to automate it with either macros or scripts. All I've got to do now is save this and I'll just call it rec underscore circle. And then the key is that I want to save it with a dot SCR extension, even though it still says text below it, I'm going to save it as a dot SCR. So I'll go ahead and save that then to actually run it. Then back in AutoCAD, I can go to my manage tab the applications panel and select run script. I can then run my script from here. And if I take a look at my command line, it looks like it didn't understand the REC. So sometimes it's best to avoid aliases and shortcuts. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to go ahead and put in the full rectangle command. And then I'll just go ahead and save this again. And then I'll run it one more time. So I'll run the script. There we go. And there you can see it created the rectangle and the circle. If I press F2, I can see each step rectangle. It's two corners, started the circle command, its center and its radius. So let's take a look at another example here. This particular drawing has lots of extra layers and some layers that have been frozen. Um, I can also take a look at some of the units settings as well and see the precision is set to zero and the insertion scale and so on. So this particular one, I have a script that, as you can see, says it will purge the drawing, create some layers and set some variables. So if I look at this, it's using the command line version of the purge command. It's basically saying purge all and then all layers. And then it's saying no to ask if you're sure you want to purge each one. Then it's creating a couple of new layers here, new construction and demolition. Then it's setting the colors for those. And then finally, it's going to thaw all layers. Then it is setting new construction as the current layer, and it's adjusting the insertion units as well as the precision of the linear units. So I'll just simply run that one. I'll go to manage, run script, run this sample script here. And you can see some layers thawed out. Let's go look at the layer list. You can see several were purged that were not in use. If I were to type in units, I can see that my precision had changed for this one. So once again, if you find yourself doing the same things over and over again, look for ways to automate those either with macros or in this case with scripts.